Hi and welcome to my mini studio cave. If you've been following this channel, you may have seen a post going around of a audio plugin that I've been building since the beginning of the year. But before we dive into it, let me introduce myself for anybody who's new. Hi, I'm Billy Crab. I am a music producer and mix engineer based in London, and I am obsessed with anything that has to do with music making, whether it's performance, especially guitar, to the more techy and nerdy side of things. For a long time, I've been curious about how all of these tools that we use every day actually work and how they're built. And I love puzzle solving tasks. And once I start pulling out a thread, I can't stop until I figure it out. So over the last Christmas break, I decided to go down a rabbit hole and start building my first plugin. I thought I'd start simple. How can I build my own compressor? This brings us to the plugin that I'll be talking about today, which is the BC-1001 under the name Oracle. Now I know the name is actually a very humble attempt to replicate something like the 1176 or the Neve 1073. One can only dream. So you might ask what is special about this compressor and I am biased, but I believe its simplicity is actually what makes it special. There's a lot of great companies out there making plugins that emulate analog gear. Most of us didn't come up doing projects on analog gear. So when you do get the plugins, you sometimes wonder what it actually brings to the table. And if you're somebody like me who started off mostly in the box and had opportunities every now and then to work on analog gear, this may be a great tool for you to get started and understanding how the compressor actually works. So it doesn't emulate anything, it's strictly digital. It does exactly what the tin says, it compresses. So it's a great tool to train your ears in actually understanding what the parameters do. So the attack and release time, how much threshold, how much gain needs to go into the plugin. I want to create something simple that would force me to use my ears rather than scrolling through a bunch of presets or trying to replicate what somebody else did using their settings. So with that said, let's jump into Pro Tools and let me walk you through the layout, which is something that I'm particularly proud of. So this is what the plugin looks like. Is it flashy? Well, no, it's quite raw, but I think it captures the essence of making music and starting out. Um, you've got main controls, you've got the input gain and the output gain. So you can push the signal into the compressor and then control its output. You've got the three main controls of a compressor at the very bottom. You've got your threshold that goes all the way down to minus 60. You got attack and release. They can go from five milliseconds all the way up to 500 milliseconds. Not sure if you're going to need it, but it's good to have it there. Uh, you've also got a bit of a hidden bypass button here. So if you click on this, you can actually bypass the entire plugin uh, and then activate it again. So at the very top, we've got our kind of monitoring section as well as the uh, ratio buttons. Now I could have had a drop down list of multiple ratios that you could use, but I thought I'd keep it simple targeting the main key ones that you would actually be using so you have a 1.5 to 1 ratio 2 to 1 4 to 1 6 to 1 10 to 1 and a 20 to 1 um, so it kind of gives you a nice range of different ratios here now the monitoring system is something that i wanted to try out uh, at the very top you've got the r in which stands for raw in that will be the signal of the recorded file so this will remain untouched no matter whether you push the input gain or the output gain up or down it will always show you the recorded signal um, then next up you have the compressor in so that will be representing uh, what the input dial does uh, you've got your gain reduction which is pretty standard and then you've also got your output level off to the side you ha also have two types of monitoring system you have peak and vu depending on what instrument you want to use Maybe for vocals, you'd want to use a, a VU metering system, whereas uh, something like drums, snares, kicks, you want to do peak meter metering system. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Super simple, nothing more to it. Uh, I'll just play a little sample of um, a latest project that I worked on uh, called Your Heart. It's the raw vocals uh, from the chorus by George Marius. Here we go. Let go of the fear and it will get clearer. The road less traveled shows that night shines brighter in the dark. Forget the stories, the ones you tell yourself at night. Trust in you, trust in what is sheltered in. The center of your heart. So that's a quick demonstration of the plugin. I hope you enjoy it. I'll put some more examples at the end of the video if you want to check them out. Uh, there'll be links in the description or 
somewhere around the screen where you can go check out the plugin. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it and um, enjoy. <laughs> 